Echo, the one-legged deaf Native American from Hawkeyes out, as having just watched it, I started to wonder just who the fuck thought it was a good idea to make an Echo TV show. She herself has no personality whatsoever, and the actress who plays her wears nothing but a blank expression for the entire season. So because Echo is so boring of a character, the only thing we can judge her by is her actions, which, by the end of the show, betray Echo as nothing more than a bitch that recklessly endangers her family's lives against their wishes, all because she can, and the fact that she likes to harm small animals. What a bitch! So with the main character being nothing more than a boring cunt, maybe the supporting cast are better. Right? Wrong. Her family is dull as fuck, and the only thing we get from them is a pointless family drama. Wow, that's really... really boring. This show being boring is by design, as originally they had 8 entire episodes that were supposed to be released week by week, but someone at Marvel who seems to have a brain knew that this show was going to be picked apart and mocked constantly, so whoever it was must have ordered the editors to remove as much humiliating cringe as possible, which seems to add up to 3 entire episodes full and to make the show as boring as possible so that everyone who has watched it immediately forgets it. Well, in a sad sort of way, they have succeeded as there is almost nothing to talk about after watching five entire episodes of Echo other than her stupid fucking powers. Echo and her native family have some vague bullshit power of the ancestors, which can do anything the plot needed to do, like having super strength, healing injuries, and even entering people's minds. The only thing this power can't seem to overcome is an addiction to fire water, a resistance to smallpox, and a hatred for a certain Italian man. Echo might just be one of the most boring shows I have seen in a long time, with a lot of cringe shoved into it, such as Echo referring to herself as the Queen Pin. Uh... Echo should be lean and fit and sport and athletic build, but as we can clearly see, the actress looks like she has just finished an entire box of Twinkies all by herself. She is obviously chubby, which is why she wears so many layers of clothes. Now, she might have been pregnant during the filming or just afterwards, which just might explain why she can't do any of the fight scenes properly. But the fight scenes in this show are fucking terrible. They are poorly choreographed and boring to watch. Also, none of her disabilities factor into any of her fights at all. She never loses her peg leg, nor does she get caught off guard on the count of being deaf. Even Daredevil's blindness plays a factor into his fights. But no, Echo's disabilities are so irrelevant that there's no point in them being there. They are not even flaws that she has to overcome, which just goes to show how little thought has been put into the show. Echo feels like a TV series that was made at the last minute by a bunch of drama students that had no fucking idea on what they were trying to make. Anyway, I'm not going to waste any more of my fucking time on this dog shit, so here's the plot. It begins with Echo and her cousin retelling some weird Indian tale to each other about a bunch of mud people in a cave drinking some random goo. Fuck me, don't these kids have a PlayStation to play with? Anyway, Echo ends up getting taken by her mother to the shops, but on the way they are hit by a car which kills her mother and cripples Echo. Her dad takes Echo and fucks off to New York, where he makes the genius decision to have his daughter be adopted by the Kingpin in order to have a better life. Why would the Kingpin be interested in adopting a disabled deaf Indian girl? I don't know. The rest of the episode is just a recap of the Hawkeye show. Ronan kills her father, she gets groped by a security guard, and then we have a long and not very well choreographed fight scene where people get shot and it doesn't affect them. Look at this guy, he gets shot in the right arm, but is then seen holding a gun in the exact same arm he was shot in. Thought we wouldn't notice, but we did. Daredevil finally shows up and his very brief fight with Echo is shit. It stops and starts a lot, and we can see several times that they clearly mistime their actions because Charlie Cox is way too fast for the actress to keep up with. So as Daredevil is about to win the fight, he just disappears for literally no reason. Why? What's more annoying is that just before this fight, we can see that Echo strangles a guy to death, and the writers are trying to tell us that Daredevil would just run away and let this murderer go. What a load of bollocks. Oh yeah, this is the only time Daredevil is in the show, because just like She-Hulk, he is only here to bait in the audience. 
Fuck me, you've got to feel bad for Charlie Cox, as all he wants to do is play a character that everybody likes. Moving on from that obvious bullshit, we cut to the end of Hawkeye where Echo learns that the Kingpin has betrayed her. She confronts him in an alleyway, right after he just lost to Kate Bishop, a tiny girl less than half his size. The writers decided that the Kingpin being destroyed by one woman wasn't humiliating enough, so they have Echo shoot him right in the head. Now, bullets in this show don't seem to work properly, as the Kingpin ends up surviving a gunshot to the head because the bullet only struck him in the eye. You know, the most toughest part of the body. Christ, who wrote this? We cut to five months later, and it turns out that Echo has also been shot, but since bullets don't seem to work in this universe, she takes a 12-hour bike ride across the country and doesn't bleed to death. Well, that's just silly. Silly, yes. Idiotic, yes. She then starts to dream about the mud people in the beginning of the episode before wandering around doing absolutely nothing and ending the episode by saying she wants to become the queen pin. Ah. And that was episode one. God, that was boring. It wasn't even a story. The entire episode feels completely disjointed. Half of the episode is a recap from what happened in Hawkeye and the other was a boring as fuck family drama where Echo tries to be a girl boss. Seriously, retarded chimps can write better shit than this. Moving on to episode 2, it starts with a bunch of natives playing a mixed-gendered game of lacrosse very badly. Who knew that in 1200 AD before the white man came, the Indians were somehow even more progressive than we are nowadays? What's next? Are half the people going to be trans and drink overpriced coffee at Starbucks? We cut to the present and Echo decides to do a train heist, but because she moves like someone with MS, she ends up getting her fake leg stuck in between the train carriages. Luckily for her, she remembers the mud person and the girl who played lacrosse really badly 800 years ago, and that somehow gives Echo super strength. That doesn't make any sense! Anyway, she blows up the shipment and kills a bunch of Fisk's men, and when one of the family members gets annoyed that she has put them all in danger, she just dismisses his concerns, because to Echo, her problems are the only ones that matters, and her family should just shut up and deal with it. I'm the selfish, power-hungry fucking bitch! You gotta deal with it! And that was episode two. Kill me! Episode 3 starts off with another feminist ancestor of Echo, who, because she is a woman, is not allowed to join a posse to stop criminals. But of course, this being Marvel, she absolutely hates the idea of being a mother and instead wants to be a killer, because that is somehow more empowering. What comes next might shock you, it has never been done before, it is so original, but the girl ends up showing all of the men how it's done and saves everyone from the bandits. Back to the present, Echo and her cousin end up getting captured by a man, a woman and a whale and are just left alone in a storage room with no guards, all because the writers are shit at their jobs and cannot find a better reason for these two to interact. Fisk's men finally show up and because she was left alone, she was able to construct a mini crossbow out of a bunch of rollerblades somehow, which she tries to use to escape. She doesn't get very far and ends up in another terribly choreographed fight where once again she ends up getting captured. Unfortunately, she doesn't get executed and ends up getting saved by Fisk, who for no reason whatsoever still simps for Echo, despite the fact that she is a boring black hole of personality and she has already tried to kill him. Wilson Fisk in this show is nothing more than a groveling simp, which is the very reason why he turns up later and begs Echo to come back to him. Fuck me, he is such a loser. If Echo had an OnlyFans, he would be a subscriber. Anyway, that was episode 3. It just keeps getting worse. Episode 4 begins with Fisk making an offer to Echo. He gives her till tomorrow to accept his offer, and Echo spends the rest of the episode just wandering around talking to her family members that nobody gives a fuck about. Finally, she meets her grandmother, who tells Echo that she has always been amazing ever since she was born. I don't give a fuck. The next day, Echo shows up to meet Fisk, and they have yet another pointless standoff that has zero tension, because we all know she is not going to kill him, before once again running away. Jesus Christ, is this show repetitive. The episode comes to a close with the Kingpin getting angry that his queen has escaped him. What are you, gay? 
Episode 5 shows Echo as a young girl attacking small animals with a slingshot. You shoot small animals for fun? That's the first indicator of a serial killer, you freak! The writers have done nothing to make Echo remotely likeable. In fact, seeing how she treats people and is about as expressive as a spoiled potato, all Echo comes across as is a piece of shit and the true villain of the show. Oh yeah, her mother also has bullshit ancestor powers as well. Funny how none of her ancestor powers helped her survive a car crash. Also, if she can heal animals, then why didn't she heal both herself and Echo of being deaf? Oh right, being deaf makes them a part of the victim class, and thus much more better than regular people. That's just sad. Echo leaves her family behind, knowing exactly what kind of man Fisk is, but ends up getting reminded to come home by a magical woodpecker that uses Morse code to tell her to come back. That's gay. <laughs> she gets back and it turns out that her cousin also has the bullshit Brave Star powers that for some reason didn't stop her from getting captured two episodes back. Also, she has a brand new suit for Echo that seems to have appeared out of thin fucking air. Oh, how convenient! Later on that day, she once again confronts Fisk for the third time, who has turned into a complete stalker as he threatens to blow up the festival if his queen does not leave with him. For fuck's sake, Wilson, there's better women out there. Stop being such a simp. Anyway, in a moment of pure cringe, she, alongside her cousin and grandmother, get their powers from the ancestors we saw before, all of whom just so happen to be women. Yes, do get it done. The three of them go full Karen and beat everyone, before entering Fisk's mind and telling him to let go of his toxic masculinity. That's alright. I feel a little bit like dying. Well, he doesn't, but what he does do is scream no at her before running away and crying like a woman. Jesus, just how many times is Marvel going to keep cooking the Kingpin as a character? The show finally comes to an end with Echo having dinner with her unlikable family. Oh my god, who the hell cares? This TV show has no reason to exist. The characters are boring at best and fucking horrible at worst. What the show calls a story is a shit family drama that drags on for five entire episodes when it could have easily been told in one and even the fight scenes, the few there are, end up being about as enjoyable as a punch to the dick. Echo was dog shit, and the fact that this was reduced from 8 episodes to 5 goes to show just how fucked things are at Marvel. I mean, how much shit did we not see in the 3 hours of the TV show that were removed? The very fact that this show got greenlit, this tear of a script was approved, the show got filmed, and nobody working on it thought that this was going to be a complete load of shit goes to show how dead the MCU is. Anyway, that boring and poorly written show was Echo. It's a piece of shit. 